was purchased, but I added everything. It was bought like this. This was a... And this is an imitation of the military coats that the Indians adopted at the time of uh, settlement. Indians started taking these military coats. First, first they got them off the dead bodies of officers they'd killed, and then they added the hair pipes, breastplates. But I think quite often maybe leg bones, but they're carved to this shape. And with a real best breastplate, they were fastened together, closer together, so that they would deflect an arrow. And uh, you see lots of uh, breastplates that are strung together, shapes of these, and then the breastplate is just put on. But they also then started sewing them on coats for decorative purposes. And uh, this has done an imitation of that. And then buckskinners, of course, had fringe, which they used, they, they'd yank it off. If they needed to tie something up, they'd yank off a piece of fringe and tie it. You had always had handy rawhide ties. And they didn't hang noisy things on them because that would have been kind of a giveaway when they went out in the woods and the Indians were chasing them to be jangling and clanking like this and catching things on the passing underbrush. Actually, when I'm, when I'm reading poetry, I have to remember not to move around too much because it kind of clanks. Anything else? That's enough. <laughs>